Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dotman.com. So after the O plus Ideal Flash tool, we now have a new tool which is the D Smart tool. It supports the OnePlus, Realme, Oppo, and even some Xiaomi phones. And you could easily flash the Ideal firmware in Ideal mode and unbreak the phones. For now, I'm still using the O plus Flash tool because it's working well and good. But it's always great to have a backup. So for, for the backup, you could use this tool as well. One major perk or benefit of this tool is that it comes all the files of the you could say the device programmer files and the sign and digest files are inbuilt into this tool. So there's no need to manually load the files into this tool. Apart from that, it has a lot of support for chipsets and phone as well. So for example, a few Xiaomi specific tweaks are there on this tool. You could download the fastboot ROM from this tool for the Xiaomi phones, have a phone query update log. Then apart from that, partition management, you could read the partition, write the partition, flash the files. All of these is now there. So earlier it was in only in the Chinese language. Now it's been in English as well. The latest tool is in the English language. The Oppo, Realme, OnePlus, and some Xiaomi phones, and also some other phones have a Qualcomm chipset can also be used by this tool. So that's quite great to see. Supported chipsets are as follows, which I've shown you earlier as well. The Oppo, Qualcomm series, OnePlus, Xiaomi series, Oppo Plus, which is the OnePlus, Oppo, and Realme. The following series are there. Black Shark is there as well. So these were not in the O plus ideal flash tool, but it's there in this tool. And now let me show you how to make full use of the tool. So first off, you could simply launch the tool by the exe file. It has just one single exe file, nothing else. So let's launch it and show you. This is the tool. You will have to turn off the Windows Defender or it might not work. So please turn that off. We will now load the tool and this will take a few seconds. The deep smart tool. It's in the English language now. So that's quite a handy feature. So this is the home screen, nothing to show you in the Android section. Choose your chipset, it's the Qualcomm. So it will take a few seconds. Some of the language is still in the Chinese, but this is not a cause of any concern because you could use the Google Translate or circle to search and get the job done. So this is the chipset drop down. You could see these are the phone's name as given as well, Oppo A1 Pro A1S. So the FireOS files are now inbuilt inside the tool. No need to manually load the files as well. This is something new as compared to the earlier tool. So for all the phones of Oppo, then Oppo Find N5. So you have all the files over here inbuilt to the tool. Just choose the phone from here and that is it. You know, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Snapdragon 8 Elite, all the chipsets are there for the Oppo Reno. Then apart from, the, we have a Realme phones. Then, okay, for the Vivo, IQ is also there. Vivo is also there. Then next up, we have this phone. I don't know which is this one. I have to verify it once. I am not quite sure about these language. Then we have the OnePlus phone, OnePlus 10T, 11, 11 are all the files are there you could see. Then OnePlus H3, the Nord series, Pad series, the Poco. For the Xiaomi phones, Ideal flashing is not supported for now. It's only for the flashing or getting the fastboot ROM. But flashing might not be done via this tool for Xiaomi phones. Anyways, then we have the Redmi Note series as well. So then Pad Pro, OnePlus Pad Pro I suppose. Redmi K13, the note tablets are there as well. So for now, my phone is a OnePlus 11 Snapdragon 8550 chipset, which is 8 Gen 2 Plus. So you could easily now simply search your phone from here and then choose it. So just give me a second. OnePlus 11 phone is this one. It's my CPS2407. And we have now chosen Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset is there. So now you have to load the programmer file, which is from the firmware. So I have linked the firmware in my article, I suppose. Okay, this is the ideal firmware link. Go to this link and get the firmware for your phone. If your phone is not shown here, please let me know. I'll share the file with you. I'll add the file over here. In my case, it's the OnePlus 11, which should be here only. This is the files. Once you've got the file, extract them onto your PC. And the ideal firmware will look something like this. It's somewhat different from the normal factory image. You could see these are the... Okay, I guess it's in the compress folder. This is the file, OnePlus 11 ideal firmware. You could see all the files of the images are there over here. So now let's load the firmware onto our this tool. So the double click over here. Now go to the inside the firmware folder. Then go to the images folder. Inside the images folder, you'll get the raw program file. Load the file of raw program 0 XML file. Load the 0 1 only. The rest will be shown automatically will be onto the tool. So just choose the 0 1, click on open, you will get a prompt. Click on the brown button, you will, it's, sorry, the blue button is saying to load all the files from 1 to 5. So only load the 0 file and you will get all the files as well. Click on the blue button and you could see all the files have now been loaded. Now it will ask to merge all the super IMG files. Click on yes. 
merge all the files, you get a single super IMG IMG file, super IMG file, and we should have the super IMG file as well onto this folder. After merging, it should be done over here only. The super file is very important to flash. So please verify that you have the file onto this folder. So let's do a search easier way out. Super.img. And we have got the files around 15 GB, 16 GB. Yes, we have got the file. Well and good. Now comes the flashing part. So you could see the all the files from the, over here. So in my case, I don't flash four files. The files which I don't flash are as follows and it's recommended to leave that files. So let me show you partition files. So these are the FSC, FSG, modem FSC 1 and 2. These are for the IMI numbers and the buses is for the fingerprint. So I always skip all these files and flash all the other files. If you're coming from ColorOS, in that case also skip the OC data IMG file. Don't flash that as well because that will lead to the issue with fastboot. So let's select all the files and just remove these four files first off. FSC, FSG, modem FSC 1 and 2 for the IMEI number. So just give me a second. So FSC, F, uh, there's no, okay, search name is there, I suppose. FSC, let's uncheck this. Then if FSG, uncheck this as well. Then modem ST1 and modem ST2. Modem ST1 and 2. These two. So we have unchecked four slots, which are for the, you could say it's for the IMA number. And then last we have the persist. Persist is for the fingerprint. So please do not flash this. It will lead to issue with fingerprint. Uncheck this as well. Once you uncheck all the five files, after that, let's skip one more file, which is the OCDT. If you're coming from ColorOS, skip that file. In my case, I'm on the OCN OS only, but still let's if I uncheck this as well. So we have unchecked the following files, FSC, FSG, modem FSC 1 and 2 and persist and OCDT files. Or if you want to flash the file, please take a backup before. And it's very important. You could see I have a backup. So either please first take a backup of all the files and then flash it or simply don't flash the files. That's why it's all yours. So with this, we have got all the required files now. We are flashing all the other files onto our phone now in the EDL mode. So now you have to boot the phone to EDL mode. Let's do that as well. So for that, you will first have to make sure the phone is currently break. It will be powered off only. But if it's not break, first off, turn off the phone. If it's currently not break in that case, please power off the phone. Also unplug it from the USB cable. So first, let's power off it off. This will take a few seconds. Power off. If the phone is hard break, it will be only off only. So once the phone is powered off, also do one thing. Enable, open the device manager from here. This could be opened by right click on the window icon and choose device manager. And now let's have a look at the port section. So when a phone is shown, you could then easily do the four things. Either read the slot from your phone, take a backup, data off from the slots. You could do this as well. Or if you want to flash the file, simply use the right this button to flash the files onto your phone. Either read it or take a backup from here, erase or write the partitions. So for now, let's take the option to read the slots from our phone. I'll show you how. Steps are the same for all the three. If you want to erase some data, read the partition data, or take a backup, or flash it, or write it. Steps will be the same for all the three. So first, the power of the phone. It's now powered off. Unplug it from the USB cable as well. Now, hold volume up and down keys. Then insert the USB cable. Holding both the keys, insert the USB cable onto your phone. And within few seconds, you could now see our phone should be shown in the port section. It's not shown here. So let's now get started with the process. I am unchecking the super slot. I don't want to take a backup of that because it's very large in size, around 16 GB, I suppose. Super. So let's uncheck that. And let's now say we want to take a backup. So just click on read partition. It will now start the process and you could now see preparing the device and starting is now started. So for taking a backup, click on read partition to erase some data, click on erase partition. To write or flash, click on write partition for flashing. Please do not flash these files. Again, warning you, the FSC, FSG, and modem C1 and 2 are for the IMEI and the purchase is for the fingerprint. And you may also ignore the OSCD, ODCD. But if you, if you have taken a backup, you could flash it. Though that might lead to some issues, so please skip that. And with that in mind, the flash currently I'm not flashing, I'm taking a backup. If you want to flash by the same button, the write or flashing are the same. For backing up, it's the read and for erasing is the erase button and the locks are given over here. It will not take a backup. In my case, I'm taking a backup. I have unchecked the super slot because super is of 16 GB. 
and that will take ages to take a backup. For the sake of reference, I'm skipped that. But for you, if you're taking a backup, please backup all the files. Do not skip any files, especially these four or five files should not be skipped. But if you want, you can take a backup of all the files on your phone. That will be the best approach. So with that said, it's currently being carried out in the EDL mode. You could see, okay, if you're having any issue with the EDL mode, in that case, please install the EDL drivers. I have made a guide and a link on that should be in my article only. EDL drivers should be very important to choose. If it's not there, okay, then you have to use our article to flash the or install the EDL drivers onto your phone. I will just show you the link. Just give me a second. It should be in my article only. I'm not quite sure where that it is. Okay, this is my article. Open the article in a new tab. I made an article and video. Please make sure to install the drivers only. Then this tool will work. If the phone is being shown as Qualcomm HS USB, let me show nine. It's the okay. If showing as QUSB bulk, in that case it will not work. And even if it's showing as 900E diagnostic mode, then also it will not work. It will only work for the 9008 mode or the 9008 diagnostic. Let me show you. It will only work when the phone is being shown as something like this. Qualcomm HS USB QT Loader 9008, then it will work. But if it's showing as 900E diagnostic mode or QUSB bulk, in both that case it will not work. So please install the drivers either manually or automatically from this article. Have a look at the video as well and please get the job done. Only after that, your phone will be in the ideal mode and then you could use the tool easily. The tool is not carrying out a task which will take a few seconds. So log dump IMG file is now being taken, which I guess only a few more files are remaining for it to back up. Similarly, flashing will also take some time depending on the files. So it's currently working out. The only work of this tool as opposed to the earlier tool, OPLUS ideal tool is that in this tool, you will have all the files in the tool only, the program device file, the you could say the digest and the sign file, all the three files are there in this tool only. Whereas in case of the OPLUS ideal tool, in that case, we have to manually load the files onto our tool. So this is the only difference between the both of these tools. For example, you might be aware of we have to load the tool from here. In the OPLUS ideal tool, you have to click on enter firewalls and load all the three files as well which is not required in this tool because the tool already has all the files in it, which is great to see. Anyways, you could see it's now done. So click on this button and you will now be taken there. And we are inside the, you could see backup. So it has taken a backup of all the files on my PC. In the same way, you could flash the files, erase some data if required. And that is it to reboot to the OS. You may also check mark this button, reboot after flash, or if the task is complete, Go to this tools button, the first button, and let me show you the screen. Let me take a photo and then do a circle to search. Let's read it. Okay, let me show you both the buttons now. This is the first one. Its photo is taken. So let's see what exactly the mean the buttons are there in the tools. Let's do a circle to search. Translate in English. And what all we have in the photo. You could see it's reboot to. Then restore factory settings, remove Google lock, FRP. Okay, I don't know if it will work or not. I have to see that. UFS, remove ID code for Xiaomi phones, backup secure partition or meta merge super. We have merged the super slot of our phone using th this only. Then let's see reboot two options. What all is there in the reboot two, which is the first button. Okay, this is the ideal mode. This is the recovery mode. The first two I will have to see. Fastboot D, Fastboot D2. Okay, Fastboot D is also there. I am not quite sure for the first two. I guess it will be OS and one more will be there. So the only way to find it out is via the camera. Let me take a photo of this. And let's ask the circuit to search button app. And it will tell us what all we have two options. We'll translate in English is this one. Let's now see what all is there. Reboot to system. Okay, shutdown is there as well. Power off. Or so you may reboot to the system, shutdown the phone or reboot to EDL mode once again, go to the recovery mode or the fastboot D mode. For now, we have the first option, which is the reboot to system. So let's use that and see what happens if this works or not. Click on the first button. So the operation is now complete. Work ID is there. Okay, so we are now inside the OS. So this tool is also working well and good. It will add act as a backup for our main tool. For now, I'm still using the first tool because it's working without any issue whatsoever. I don't have one extra step to load all the files. But still, I'm using that only. If that ends up getting patched by the Oppo or OnePlus, then we'll use this tool. So we have a backup as well now, which is great to see. Simply launch the tool by the HD file. And you could see we have all the options over here only. 
just let me take a screenshot for the feature image for my video yes it's fine now and now you may simply load the file form you could see all the files are in this section only no need to load any file manually likewise you could load the program file zero only load the zero file and you will get all the files automatically over here the one two three four five all the file will be loaded just go to your firmware stock firmware and load this file okay just give me a second i don't need these files for now let's close this so simply load the zero file only from the firmware image folder go there and load the raw program zero file which is over here and the tool will load all the files automatically which is quite great to see no need for the manual intervention from our end just load the zero file it will load the one two three four five all the files you could also open the file and verify the partition name you could see from here only purchase miscellaneous key store frp super it has some slots then the raw partition let's say four you could see it also has a few partitions it will load all the files then load all the partition at one go and slash the files again i'm repeating please skip all these partitions fsc fsg bottom fc one and two and persist these five are the main files and if you want you can also skip the oc degree if you're using a color os or doing a conversion in that case might lead to some issue with the fast mode so guys that's all from this video if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching